Hi, it's Friday, March the 9th, and it's time for another Prophecy in the News Daily Update. Bob Ulrich in studio with me today, and we're going to talk about the Prophecy Summit at Branson 2012. And Bob, we're excited. We're getting ready, and you're working very, very hard. Well, we're excited, all right, and, and uh, we've had more than our share of questions in the last couple of weeks about what is going on with the conference. <clears throat> I haven't heard anything. You haven't charged my credit card. Am I registered? I haven't gotten an email confirmation. Uh, who are the speakers? Is there anybody new coming? I mean, there's probably 20 questions that have been pretty consistent uh, via the emails, and so we're kind of here today to talk about and answer some of those questions. Well, the uh, Prophecy Summit at Branson 2012 comes, I think, at a very, very significant moment in history. Bob, have you thought about all the, the, the huge sea changes on the horizon? We have the election coming up. We have uh, almost certainly a war uh, destined to break out in Israel. We have the Russians making a military move in Eastern Europe and the Mediterranean. We have Europe in flames, basically, financially. We have instability virtually all over this world. And what a time to talk about Bible prophecy. Gary, it's only March. What's life going to be f like on July 13th through 15th when some of these things are probably a little uh, closer to culmination? Uh, we see the signs today. And so we're kind of building. We've built a conference here that I think is going to focus on Israel. It's going to focus on the yep. Middle East. It's going to focus on the hope of the rapture. So many of the subjects that we talk about on a regular basis are going to be front and center in Branson. And our Master of Ceremonies is going to be a man that many of you know very well, Tom Horn. I love Tom Horn. And you talk about somebody that can get some action started. It's Tom Horn, right? Uh, when I hear the name Tom Horn, I just can't keep thinking. He's the stem winder to me. You know, yeah, that's who is. Tom is. Tom has been a huge, huge help with the conference uh, a lot of the speakers who were in Branson last year have rejoined us this year, but we have some new people. In fact, I've just got to tell you something. This conference is out of control right now. Uh, I had no idea what I was getting into, and what's happened is almost a supernatural thing. Initially, the names of the people we had, quite a few of them were not available. We, we went through a little period of disappointment where we couldn't get some of these big names. <coughs> Well, lo and behold, some of those big names have come back later and said, guess what? We've had a change of plans. We can make it. Chuck Missler has joined the crowd, and Chuck is with us now. Uh, a few weeks ago on the set of Prophecy in the News, we had Steve Russell. Now, Steve is the lieutenant commander who actually was uh, head of the unit mm -hmm. that captured Saddam Hussein. Steve is going to be speaking at the conference in Branson. And I've heard Steve speak in public before. Yeah, and if you great. never heard his message and the whole story, by the time he finishes, you're going to be standing on your feet waving an American flag. I mean, cheering, because this guy is a, is a dedicated believer. Great, great faith in the Lord. And by the way, he authored the book. Uh, it's called We Got Him. It's all about the capture of Saddam Hussein. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Steve Russell was right there. He was a part of the inner circle that planned and executed the capture of Saddam Hussein. But more than that, he brings... Uh, a Christian perspective to war in the Middle East, and he was right up close and personal for many, many years. It's a years. great story. He's, he's <laughs> just going to be, I mean, believe me, Steve, yeah. Steve commands a premium price when he speaks in public yeah. because of his friendship with J.R. and Linda Church. Actually, Steve went to their church right here in Dell City for many, many years. Mm. Uh, Steve has given us a little bit of a break. Uh, you know, I look at the names on this list. Uh, I got an email here two days ago from Tom Horn. And he said to me, Bob, guess what? Jerome Corsi wants to come. He was unavailable before. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, Jerome, who I'm sure you know from the pages of World Net Daily, yeah. uh, he's the guy with the famous message, where's the birth certificate? <laughs> so I, I can only imagine what he's going to want to talk about in he's July. He's a powerful speaker in person. A very, very uh, moving and dynamic speaker. Uh, with absolutely a boatload of information. And, and we could just go on and on, and we should. We, we should talk about, uh, uh, you've seen a lot of the people here on Prophecy in the News, uh, uh, Bill Federer, David Brennan. Uh, Bill Federer, a walking encyclopedia of Islam, and when it comes to what's happening in contemporary Islam, uh, you, you'll not get closer the, to the truth than to hear it from Bill Federer, right? Well, he's just 
the, I say it all the time, the second smartest guy I know, and you <laughs> chuckle every time I say that. Uh, but Grant Jeffrey, L.A. Marzulli, yeah. I mean, you look at the names of the people that are coming. There's never been a conference like this before. Linda Church looked at me yesterday, and she said, Bob, how many people are coming to this conference? She says, do we really need all these people? And I just looked at her. I said, well, it's just kind of happened, Linda. This is just the way it's worked out. Yeah. Big names, great names, great speakers. I mean, motivational people. There's never been a prophecy conference, trust me, and, and I'm familiar with this realm. Been to a lot of them over the years, but there's never been a collection of names like this, you know, gathered at, at one three-day event. It's a confluence of, of big names, but something else, uh, certain big events in the world at large. Because, Bob, you know and I know that uh, this being an election year and a year of economic woe, which was, by the way, prophesied in the Bible for the latter days, and what was also prophesied for the latter days was war in the Middle East. And, and as we make this update today, uh, our uh, Secretary of Defense... Uh, has made the statement that, yes, we are preparing to invade Iran. Well, it's hard to take that in. That could have monumental consequences for what happens in the next three, four months in the United States. Well, we're on the brink of history. I mean, we're at the precipice of seeing things that we've talked about on the set here for 25 years. And here they all sit in black and white just as crystal clear, you know, as, as, as your eyes can see. And, <clears throat> and I got to say this, a month ago, six weeks ago, we came on the set and talked about the Branson Conference, and I warned you very clearly about registering early. And we are now close to 70% registered after six weeks of actual registrations. Uh, Tom Horn had told me that last year they registered most of the people in the last 30 days. Uh, half the people who attended registered in the last 30 days. Wow. If you wait that long this year, trust me, you are not going to get into the conference. Uh, we only have a limited seating capacity. The magazine just came out. The March mag issue of Prophecy in the News just came out. And in that magazine is actually the first ad we've run for the conference. I'm afraid. I mean, seriously, I'm afraid to even go on the set today and talk about registering for the conference because well, I know when I do... This is going to end. It's going to end quick. The other speakers and the other ministries are not even going to get their own people to even come. I mean, this is going to become like a prophecy in the news conference, and we do want to make it available to people who want to hear Noah Hutchings and Larry Spargamino from Southwest Radio <coughs> Church and yeah. so many of these names that, you know, people, you're going to get to meet all these people in person. It's going to be an awesome event. July 13th through 15th at the newly remodeled Radisson Hotel in Branson, Missouri. It's going to be a, a, an event to remember. I have just a sneaking suspicion, Bob, that some interesting things are going to be happening in the world in the next two or three months, and we will have the experts assembled to talk about what is happening at that time. Well, just to make it clear, the Radisson Hotel in Branson, which is where the conference is being held, was not destroyed or affected in the tornado last week. We had quite a few emails from people wondering yeah. you know, if the conference was still on. The conference is fine. In fact, there's a, a miraculous story that the, uh, the manager for the hotel told me about the hotel or about the tornado literally exploding the house right behind hers. She got a phone call telling her to get out of her house. Her daughter ran out of her bedroom. The tornado residue hit the daughter's bedroom a two-by-six came through the wall right by her daughter's bed, right where she was sitting. For all we know, it may have killed her. She was out in the hallway when it hit. They didn't suffer any severe damage. Everybody was fine, but it's like just another miracle. Miracle Indeed. in Branson. Okay, I'm going to put some numbers on the screen for you right now. 1-800-475-1111 uh, or... Area code 405-634-1234. That's the office number right here at Prophecy in the News. Those numbers are on your screen. You can call and register for the Prophecy Summit at Branson 2012, July 13th through 15th. You will want to be there, right, Gary? Bob? That's the only way to register right now is over the phone from 9 to 5 Central Standard Time. We're in the process of putting a website together, but to be frank, the registrations have just exploded so much that the website is an afterthought. The conference is going to be sold out completely, I think, in the next yeah. 
three to four weeks. There will be no tickets available, no opportunity to get in. There will be a website listing the speakers, listing all the subjects and the titles. Those things are all in the works. Uh, we'll be prepared come July. Indeed we will. And, by the way, big things are happening. You'll want to meet people who uh, are considered to be the experts in the exposition of Bible prophecy, and you'll have a chance to do it right there at Branson. So uh, be sure, call those numbers and join us. Bob, it's been fun. It's going to be busy for the next few months, right? It's going to be even more fun come <laughs> July in Branson. It's going to be wonderful. And I'm Gary Stearman. Remember, keep looking up.